Today's video is gonna be a little bit different from the ones we've been doing lately. So we've been covering a lot of different AI tools and programs, showing you some of the best ones, giving you tutorials, and just covering AI in general. So in this video, I wanna cover ChatGPT and give you some different use cases that you can have for the software, show you some different creative ways you can use it, and just some better ways that you can use ChatGPT in your everyday life. So let's jump right into it. So one popular use for ChatGPT is for blog topics and keyword research. So we can do, give me some keywords for a blog, related to WordPress, and we'll hit return and see what it generates for us. This is something that's very powerful, being able to find keywords for you, especially when you're dealing with SEO and practices like that, and you can let ChatGPT take care of some of the legwork for you to just make things quicker and easier in your everyday life. Now, when it does come to writing prompts itself and talking to ChatGPT, one thing that you can really utilize is just talk to it like a normal person. It's designed to be conversational, so the more natural you are when you're typing into ChatGPT, generally the better responses you have. Now, we do have a lot of different general tips for using ChatGPT. If you go down into the blog article that's in the video description below, we have a ton of different tips. I'm not gonna go over all of those today. We're just gonna talk about some uses for the software. So the second way we can use ChatGPT is to generate copy for your website. Now, one thing to take note of when using ChatGPT is to never just use it to write all of the content for you. Rather, it's better to use it to generate ideas for your own writings. So what I can do here, for example, is we can say generate an outline for a for a blog article on WordPress. So we'll give it, let it generate us an outline here. So one cool way that you can use this is now that we have an outline for our blog post, something we can do is say, based on the outline above, provide us with an introductory paragraph that's engaging, blah, blah, blah. So I'll have it do that. And then it'll give us just an outline for this first paragraph, which is really nice. And again, don't just copy this word for word, but use it as a way to help you get your gears turning. So number three, something you can use ChatGPT for is proofreading and editing your work. So what we can do is we can use this paragraph that we already have. We can say, take this paragraph and make it more concise while keeping the original writing tone. And now we can generate this. It'll take the paragraph that we already have and kind of do what we want it to. And you can see that it just edited it quite a little bit for us. So those are some of the more general basic things that you can use with ChatGPT. But here's one that's very interesting. You can actually use it to make WordPress plugins for you. And let me show you how. The big thing when you're doing this is you have to be very creative and very specific with what you want it to do. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have a WordPress plugin called D Maintenance that does the below actions once activated. So I have a list of a few things that I want the app to do, and we're just gonna run this through ChatGPT. So as you can see, it's generated us a PHP file, and it even tells us exactly how we can utilize this on our site. It's very, very cool, and if you are looking to create WordPress apps for yourself and have specific things that you want it to do, ChatGPT can help make this happen for you. It's Pretty awesome. So another thing you can use ChatGPT for is to help you write and debug code. If you're a web developer, chances are you've encountered different bugs before, and ChatGPT can help you kind of run through some troubleshooting steps to figure out what is going wrong exactly. So for instance, I can give it a very common error here and see if it can help us figure it out. So I'm gonna say, can you help me identify this console error? Failed to load resource. The certificate to your server is invalid. So we're gonna see what it says here, and it's gonna give us some troubleshooting steps to help us debug this. This can save a ton of time, especially keeping you from having to do a whole bunch of Google searches and then read through a whole bunch of posts. So this is a great, great tool for web developers. Now the sixth creative use for ChatGPT I wanna talk about is using it to generate video scripts for you. This is obviously a world that I live in and something that can help you just make an outline for a video, especially if you're stuck not knowing what to do. So for instance, I can type in, create a 30 second video script to explain five most unknown facts about dogs. So we'll hit return and let it create just an outline script for us so we don't have to put in all the work. Here it'll generate us a script for us, giving us just like an idea of where to start. Just like with blog posts, the important thing with this is to not just take it word for word and have this be your video, especially because this is AI, it's not written by a human, and it can get a little robotic. But just to have some good ideas, like it'll tell us to start with a voiceover, our first scene, second scene, third scene, etc. And this is a really great way for brainstorming and a very powerful tool. Now the seventh creative way to use ChatGPT that you might not be thinking about already is to let it help you design quizzes and surveys. So for instance, I can use this to generate a quick five question survey for an online jewelry business that might be having some struggling sales. So I'll have it generate this, just talking to ChatGPT again, like a regular person. And then this will help us kind of create the questions that we need for our survey. So you can see it starts with how do you discover a jewelry business on a scale one to five, how do you rate the overall shopping experience and et cetera, et cetera. As you can see, this is just a simple prompt, but it has limitless potential. Now, another really powerful way you can use ChatGPT is to do market research for you. So for instance, I can tell it that I am creating an online clothing store where people can order designs from my website. I'm gonna tell it to act as a market researcher and give me information on the demographics of people most likely to purchase design layouts in Orlando, Florida. 
We'll have it include age groups, income, education, and specific location, and we'll have it generate a response for us. So here you can see, it's gonna start doing the market research for us and give us all of the things that we need. So we have different age groups, income, education, specific location, all of the stuff that we told it to do. This is a great way to kind of start your market research journey and give you the ideas of what you wanna look for when you are doing more in-depth research. Now the ninth creative use for ChatGPT I wanna talk about is using it to write product descriptions. So for instance, here's a prompt we can use. I need help constructing a good product description. I have an insulated cup that is available in eight different colors. It holds 20 ounces and it keeps drinks hot for two years, which would be very handy. So we'll have it write us a product description here just by hitting return. And again, I sound like a broken record, but just like before, use this as a guideline for writing your product descriptions and just giving you ideas. A lot of times ChatGPT is the best when you're using it to just get you out of a creative block. I know that happens to me a lot where I just am stuck on an idea, don't know what to do. And this is a great use for ChatGPT. And the 10th and final creative way to use ChatGPT is for creating digital art. Now, ChatGPT itself can't create images yet, but again, there are a host of different tools out there that can help you with this. I've done videos on Midjourney, Stable Diffusion and some others. So you can check those out if you want to look at them. But one thing you can use ChatGPT for is to help you create good prompts to use in those different AI art generators. So there you have it, 10 creative ways to use ChatGPT. Let us know in the comments below if there were any interesting ones you hadn't thought about. Again, there is an excellent blog article that's down in the video description. It has a lot of different tips and tricks for better ways to use ChatGPT and goes more into depth than all of the ways that I talked about today. Thank you again for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Before you go though, make sure you like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of really cool and interesting content coming out, especially things that revolve around AI as the field grows. So if you don't want to miss out, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.